you know that there's been a desire expressed by some provinces, municipalities, to bring people in quickly. There's also been a discussion about whether or not we could send Canadian officials to the refugees, be they in camps or whatnot, and do the security screening there, because I know that's something you're concerned about. How far would that go towards satisfying your concerns about security? And can you please answer the question en français aussi, s'il vous plaît? Look, I'll just repeat what I've been saying all along. This government has already announced prior to the latest round of headlines, we announced our intention to bring more Syrian and Iraqi refugees to this country. We've already brought some 23,000. We're looking to bring more, and we are looking to improve the process. Let me be clear at the same time. We are going to make sure, uh, we are going to make sure that we are selecting the most vulnerable bona fide refugees, well, obviously with a focus on the religious and ethnic minorities that are the most vulnerable. And when we are dealing with people who are from, uh, in many cases, a terrorist war zone, we are going to make sure that we screen people appropriately and the security of this country is fully protected. And it's true that Canada could and should be doing more. The NDP has proposed that Mr. Harper put in place a commissioner specifically responsible for this, because what you're describing is right. You shouldn't have people dis in this desperate situation falling into a bureaucratic trap where they're being asked to produce identity papers as if you, were, you had time to renew your driver's license when you were walking across the desert with your, with your family. So you have to take that into account. Having more people on the ground there would be a good idea. And of course, we could use military assets to start moving uh, refugees out of the area more rapidly. But it all begins with political will. And Mr. Harper has shown no will whatsoever to start bringing a larger number of Syrian refugees more rapidly to Canada. My chief of staff has tried to stay in con contact with Mr. Harper's office. As you know, uh, he's the only person who can act right now, but he's no shown no willingness to act quickly. And it's a shame because it is a human tragedy on a scale not witnessed on Earth since the Second World War.